Now, let's go on to the final topic in algebra before we then go into um, our exponential equations. So, let's now start. Once you've got all of this, put down the heading inequalities. Now, inequalities is a major, 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 major topic. You're going to be using it not only in algebra. Grade 12s, you're going to be using it for um, sequences and series. When we get to our, our uh, program on sequences and series. Grade 11s, you're also going to be using it in functions. Grade 12s, you're going to be using it in functions. You're going to be using this in so many different topics in mathematics. So please make sure that you understand this concept of inequalities very well. Let's get started. Inequalities, what does it look like? So put the heading inequalities. And we know that inequalities, when a sign looks like this, that's less than or less than or equal to or you got greater than or greater than or equal to. The question in the exam again will just say solve for x and let's put a question down. We say x squared minus 2x minus 15 less than or equal to 0. Solve for x for 5 marks. Answer. Now remember what I told you mathematics is a game. Before you start answering this you need to ensure that you know the rules to this game. Let's give you some basic rules, right, that you're going to apply. Very simple, very easy. Pay attention. Okay, so forget about the question now. Let's go to the rules. Right. I'm going to give you a very simple acronym that I want you to remember. Very easy. Any number less than or less than or equal to zero is negative. I mean, common sense. Any number less than zero is negative. Any number greater than or greater than or equal to is positive. So we got pos and neg. Pos for positive, neg for negative. Now, I want you to remember this. Pos or neg bet. Now you might be asking, what are you talking about here Mr. K? I'm here to tell you that within 10 seconds, by using this system here, you can answer this inequality. And how do we do this? Positive, you'll use the word or. Negative, x will lie bet for between. X will lie between two points. What are we going to do? We're going to draw a rough parabola. Lower critical value first, higher critical value second. Then we're going to check our inequality and then we're either going to be using pos or, or neg bet. Don't stress. I'm going to show you the examples. I promise you, you are going to get it right. Let's start with the negative one first. Forget about the positive. Let's start. Here's the negative x squared minus 2x minus 15 less than or equal to 0. So we know that's a negative inequality. So now we're going to treat it like a normal quadratic. We're going to break it up. We're going to factorize it, x and x. Factors of 15 to give you a 2 is 5 and 3 minus plus. What are your two critical values? x minus 5 will equal to 0. x is equal to plus 5. x plus 3 equals to 0. x is equal to minus 3. Now you cannot say it's equal to because it's an inequality. Now you draw the rough parabola. I said step number one, draw the rough parabola. There we go. There's your parabola. Lower number first, higher number second. It's less than or equal to. So is it positive or negative? Come on, negative. So what's the rule? Bet. What does bet stand for? Between. So we just put x between these two points. All you do is you copy and paste. So double click and drag, double click and drag double click and drag, there's your inequality, and use the same sign. Less than or equal to, less than or equal to. Boys and girls, that's your final answer. You'll get yourself five to six marks in the exam. Okay? Simple, straightforward. Draw your parabola, high, lower critical value, higher critical value. Because it's negative, you put x between, because that's the rule. Neg bet. Pause or neg bet. Negative between, put it there, copy and paste. There is your inequality. Let's do another example. I'm going to move over here to the side. Let's choose example number two. Make, take any value. Let's take x squared minus 8x minus 20 less than 0. Question in the exam, solve for x. Okay, let's do it. It's going to, I'm going to pick up the pace. It's going to be a little faster now. So let's break that up, less than 0. You're going to have x and x. These are two brackets, not, not an x. Right, your factors of 20 to give you a 10, uh, to give you an 8. 10 and 2, minus plus. What are your two critical values? Plus 10 and negative 2. Draw your rough parabola, lower critical value first, higher critical value second, less than 0, negative, between. X, 10, negative 2. Use the same sign, less than, 
less than. And there we go, boys and girls. You got yourself five to six marks in the exam. Many of you write the paper, you draw the table, you draw a number line, you check your signs. It takes you 10 to 15 minutes just to answer a simple 10 second question. So please make sure you apply these processes.